Well, hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today, I figured I would do my December TBR. It's kind of ambitious, but we're gonna see how good I do this month. First, I have Going Bovine by Libba Bray, and I just picked this book up. If you watched my book haul, you would have seen this one already. This book is about a 16-year-old boy named Cameron who finds out that he's going to die, so he goes on a road trip with a gnome and a dwarf to find a cure for his illness. Next, I plan to read Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. This book is about a girl named Britt who decides to go backpacking, and from what I understand, her ex-boyfriend decides to tag along with her, and then a storm or blizzard hits. They get confined to a cabin, and there's fugitives in that cabin, and supposedly they take them hostage or something like that. I'm pretty sure that that's what happens, but um, I've heard mixed things about this book, but I, I really want to check it out. Next, I will be reading Silence of Six by E.C. Myers. I also talked about this book and in my book haul previously and I'm really looking forward to this book. From what I gather it deals a lot with hacking and computer access, things like that. 17 year old Max's best friend named Evan kills himself on a live stream at their high school. Max becomes a target of a corporate witch hunt as described in the synopsis and he somehow has to prove his innocence in all of this. This is probably one of my most anticipated reads in December. Next I will be reading The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. This will actually be a reread for me. I've already read the first book twice and so I want to catch up and read this one again because it's been a while since I've read it. And then following that I will be reading The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin which is the third and final book in this trilogy and I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Now here's where things start to get a little ambitious because I've already said that I'm going to read one, two, three, five books. So... This is just wishful thinking. So next I have Rooms by Lauren Oliver and can we just admire this beautiful cover. It is so gorgeous. I love it. This is actually an adult novel. It's about a family that inherits a house that is supposedly haunted by two ghosts. And, and the ghosts speak to the people that move in through sounds like creaking stairs and the boiler running and things like that. Eventually another ghost appears in the house that can communicate with the living. That's all I know about it. It sounds really interesting. I really love Lauren Oliver's writing so I'm looking forward to this. Next I have A Hundred Sideways Miles by Andrew Smith. I love Andrew Smith. He is such an awesome writer and all of his stories so far that I've read are very different and unique. This one is about a boy named Finn who sees the world in miles instead of minutes. To me, that's just intriguing. I don't even know where you would go with something like that. But that one sentence on the synopsis got me hooked. So basically all I know about this book is what I've just said, plus the fact that he goes on some kind of road trip with his best friend and something weird or something unexplained happens. I'm not quite sure what happens, but I can't wait to figure it out. Lastly, we have this beast of a book, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. This thing is massive. So... I cannot guarantee that I will get to this book. I might get to it, but I probably won't get through it by the end of December with the holidays and everything, but I really, really, really want to try because it sounds so good. It's about a girl who wants to publish her teen novel, which is actually entitled Afterworlds. In this book, you actually go through her story of getting the book published, but you also get to read the story that she actually wrote. So it's pretty interesting, or it sounds pretty interesting. I think all of the pages that have the black on the top are the book that she actually wrote. I could be mistaken, but I think that's how it was written. Um, so it makes it look pretty cool. So that is all the books that I plan to read in December. It comes to about eight books. Typically I only read about five or six, maybe, it depends. So this is quite ambitious for me because I'm starting a new job and I, I go to school. So it should be interesting to see how many of these books I actually get through, but I will do the best that I can. Um, hopefully I'll put up some reviews for these books. If there are any books in particular that you would like to see a review on, please let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you. I would say a maximum of two of the books I'll have time to do a review on, so just let me know if you're interested, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!